Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to use any computer microphone on your PlayStation 4 and talk to people in the game chat or party chat. Coming up next in this PlayStation tutorial. So like I stated before, you can use any computer microphone on your PlayStation 4 to communicate with your friends or people in the game chat very easily. So how the heck do I do this? Well, let's go ahead and jump over to my computer and I'll show you. So as you can see, I am using the same microphone on my PlayStation 4 as I am to record this video. The input volume is going up and down at the same time. So how do I do this? It's very easy actually. What you want to do is open up a web browser and then go to google.com or a different search engine and type in remote play. Just like that, press enter on your keyboard. And then the first link right here will be PlayStation 4 Remote Play Windows PC Mac. Let's go ahead and click on this link. Then it's going to give you two different options for Windows PC users and Mac users. So let's go ahead and click on the Windows PC because that's what I'm using. And it's going to scroll you down on the page here. And it's going to give you a description of what you need. You'll need a computer, the PS4 in rest mode are turned on, DualShock 4, and a USB cable or a DualShock 4 with USB wireless adapter. Now you can connect your PlayStation 4 controller to your computer via a USB, which is very easy. And then an account for PlayStation Network, high speed internet for the best performance. Now here is the actual download right here for Windows PC. Let's go ahead and click that it. Then it's gonna download in the bottom left hand side of the screen. Let's go on the up arrow and then go to open and then go to yes. Now go through the installation wizard, press next and install remote play on your PC and then click finish. Now let's go ahead and open up the application. So to connect your PlayStation 4 to your computer, have your PlayStation 4 in rest mode or turned on and connected to the internet via your Wi-Fi router and the same thing for your computer. Now you can go into the settings section right here and you'll have to sign in to your PlayStation Network ID. Then if you have the PlayStation 4 Pro, you will be able to stream at 1080p. Now, if you are using this method to live stream from and have a dual mic set up, one for your PlayStation 4 and one for your stream, I suggest having a lower stream quality so you lag less when you're streaming or you don't lag at all. And then go ahead and determine your frame rate. Mine is standard or high. And then you can go ahead and use your keyboard on the computer if you want to enter text or change the PlayStation 4 you want to connect to right down here. Now, if your computer and your PlayStation 4 are connected over the same Wi-Fi router, you can go ahead, press start right here, and it's going to connect to your PlayStation 4 automatically. Then in the bottom right hand side of the screen, you see an expand sign and a microphone with a cross through it. Now, if we go ahead and press the mute button right here and unmute our mic, as you can see, I can now use the same microphone that I'm recording this video with to talk on my PlayStation 4. Now, let's go ahead and expand the window. And then I'm going to connect my PlayStation 4 controller via a micro USB cable. Otherwise, go ahead and buy the PlayStation 4 wireless adapter to connect wirelessly to your computer and go ahead and press the PlayStation button and you should be able to move around. And you'll be able to use any kind of microphone that connects to your PC to go ahead and use it on your PlayStation 4. If you want to go ahead and join a party chat with someone, they should be able to hear you. Now when I actually play with this method, I don't actually use the remote play window to play from. What I like to do is switch over to my PlayStation 4 on my monitor, which I have my PS4 connected to, and I'll play directly from the feed on my PlayStation 4 to my monitor versus playing through the remote play window, if that makes sense. And this will provide you a lot less lag and it'll be a much quicker, responsive experience. So 
So play with this method provides me the best results, especially if I'm streaming. Now the one problem I've been having is if I connect my PlayStation 4 controller to my PS4 and I try to play my video games with it, I'll actually get logged out of remote play on my PC. Now the one workaround I did find to get around that issue is I'll make two accounts. I'll have my main account I'm playing on and then my second account I make will be logged into remote play on my PC and both accounts will have to join the PlayStation 4 party to get the game audio and the microphone feed audio. So if this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help tips on the PlayStation 4 coming up next on your six studios.